Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotion for you. And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers. And there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. And they forsook the Lord God of, our, of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. We're talking here about uh, the, uh, some of the people who came from e Egypt, from pa captivity. They had a plan of faith, but they needed to keep it in first thoughts in their mind with their families. God's plan for faith to be transferred from one generation to the next is for those who have seen his work for themselves to pass that knowledge on to their children and those that they lead to him. If we're not faithful to accomplish that task, the results will quickly become catastrophic. Joshua and the leaders of this generation served God faithfully and led the people well, but they failed miserably at transferring their knowledge of God to the next generation. Former Education Secretary William Bennett wrote that today's ordinary citizen is living off the stored up moral capital of another century's experience. That accurate description highlights the true problem facing our country and our churches today. We cannot continue to coast on the faith of the past. We need people who are walking with God now rather than simply reliving the days of the past when others walked with him and saw him work. Our children and our grandchildren need to see God as real and at work in our lives so that they too will love, fear, and serve him rather than following other gods in their heart. The knowledge of the true and living God is a vital inheritance, far more important than money or property or anything else that we could leave to those who follow us. So we need to do our part to pass on the faith of our family and church so that the future will not be without that faith. Keep uh, the Lord in the front of your hearts and in your prayers each and every day. Allow him to lead you and your family. And join us again on Monday for another Renew devotional for you. Let's pray.